welcome all to the topic carbohydrates so usually uh, carbohydrates which include uh, ribose glucose uh, starch cellulose etc okay so these are the main uh, class of uh, carbohydrate and they occupy very uh, important position in the chemistry uh, regarding life process so glucose is produced in green plants by photosynthesis a common uh, phenomenon and this is used by the plant for energy or converted into starch and stored in seeds to serve as a source of energy for growing plants similarly glucose is also converted into cellulose which serves as a structural material for plants so normally if you uh, consider a plant okay, if you consider a plant which have a uh, leaf okay, which have a leaf okay, and which will have a, a seed so this uh, usually glucose is uh, converted into a starch and it is uh, stored in the seeds okay and this starch uh, it is uh, which give uh, further or it act as a source of energy for the growing plant okay or normally we consume these uh, seeds as a source of energy and glucose is also converted into cellulose okay and that give a structural uh, material for the plants for example uh, leaves okay so leaves contains uh, cellulose so usually some of the uh, animals uh, can consume this cellulose okay so the so in a simple plant you can have two uh, kinds of uh, carbohydrates one is starch and one is cellulose so apart from starch and cellulose we know uh, there are certain uh, carbohydrates like ribose which we have learned in uh, nucleic acid ribose then we shall remember uh, study glucose etc so carbohydrate ribose is involved in a structural unit in nucleic acid okay, which are responsible for the uh, biosynthesis of proteins and for uh, transmitting the patterns of life uh, from one generation to the next so in that way ribose is another uh, important uh, carbohydrate okay so uh, now you can see that uh, carbohydrates are uh, composed of uh, elements like carbon hydrogen and oxygen so normally they have a, a general formula they have a, a general formula c x h2 o y so this uh, it have a general formula c x h2 o y times uh, normally carbohydrates are uh, polyhydroxy aldehydes or polyhydroxy ketones they are polyhydroxy aldehydes or polyhydroxy uh, ketones or compounds which yield uh, these on hydrolysis so normally a carbohydrate chemically it is composed of carbon and uh, hydrogen and oxygen so its general formula is cx h2o y so coming to its uh, classification coming to the uh, classification of uh, carbohydrates uh, you can see that classification uh, carbohydrates are broadly classified into two one is uh, sugar first one is sugar and non sugars so when uh, sugars sugars are uh, type of carbohydrates which are crystalline in nature which are crystalline in nature they are sweet and water soluble some examples of sugars are glucose fructose sucrose etc so coming to the uh, non sugars again they are uh, carbohydrates which are amorphous, amorphous in nature they are not they doesn't have any kind of crystalline nature they are amorphous in nature they are tasteless okay they are tasteless whereas sugars are very sweet in nature they are tasteless and they are water insoluble some example are uh, this uh, poly uh, carbo hydrates like starch cellulose etc so now uh, let us uh, study in detail regarding sugars so sugars are uh, subdivided into monosaccharides oligosaccharides and polysaccharides okay. and so sugars are mainly classified into monosaccharides and oligosaccharides okay. sugars are mainly classified into monosaccharides and oligosaccharides while uh, non sugars are uh, classified into polysaccharides so 
the non sugars are usually polysaccharides so let us study what is a monosaccharide so monosaccharides are uh, carbohydrates which cannot be hydrolyzed further into simple compound they are the basic uh, compounds and most of them uh, have a general formula ch2on they have a general formula ch2on so depending upon the number of uh, carbon atom okay the number of carbon atom uh, it can be uh, that is uh, n it can be monosaccharides okay if uh, n equal to 3 it is called uh, tetros so triose is called uh, triose and if n is equal to 4 it is called tetros and if there are five carbon atom it is called pentose and if there are uh, six uh, carbon atom they are called as hexose so i can say that uh, monosaccharides okay, they have a general formula ch2o n times okay if n is equal to 3 that is if it have uh, three carbon atom such monosaccharides are called triose and if they do have uh, four carbon atoms if n is equal to 4 uh, such monosaccharides are called as tetrose and n is equal to 5 it is pentose n is equal to 6 is hexose and furthermore again monosaccharides are further uh, subdivided into two kind that is uh, monosaccharides containing aldehydes okay monosaccharides containing aldehyde Okay, they are called as aldose they are called as aldose and if monosaccharides are having a keto group if they are having a keto group they are called as ketos they are called as ketos so for example uh, this ribose ribose is having uh, carbon 5 ribose is carbon 5 so it is uh, pentose okay and it, it do have a aldehydic function group so it is called aldopentose so uh, ribose is an example for uh, aldehyde or it is an example for aldose glucose okay again uh, it do have uh, an aldehyde function group and they have a six carbon so it is hexose so it can be known as aldohexose because again glucose is also having uh, aldehyde function group now coming to uh, ketose the best example is fructose best example of fructose is ketos they have uh, it's a hexose so fructose is otherwise known as keto hexose it is otherwise known as keto hexose so example for uh, aldose are ribose and glucose because they have a aldehydic function too ribose is a pentose sugar glucose is a hexose sugar next example for uh, ketos is fructose fructose is a uh, hexose so here also you can see uh, pentose and uh, hexose so, so an example for ketose is fructose so uh, these are the structure of uh, ribose and uh, glucose and fructose and this d uh, they are the uh, d and l configuration Okay, they are the simple special conformations uh, compared to the structure glyceraldehyde that we shall discuss in the coming sessions okay don't confuse uh, with the uh, small d dextro as well as small l leo they are the optical isomers okay so uh, we shall study this d capital d and capital l uh, configurations in the later session now you can see that ribose ribose uh, belongs to uh, a pentose uh, containing in rna and it is having a functional group so it is having a uh, functional group uh, this uh, aldose that is cho because it is cho functional group in glucose also it is a, there is a uh, it is a, there is a aldehydic functional group so it is an aldose and here you can see that it is uh, carbonyl you can see that it is carbonyl you can see it is a carbonyl uh, functional group co like that okay so it is a carbonyl so uh, coming to the uh, oligosaccharides after monosaccharides we shall uh, get into oligosaccharides so oligosaccharides are uh, carbohydrates which have uh, more than uh, two uh, monosaccharides or i can say which upon hydrolysis 
give uh, 2 to 10 monosaccharides or less than 10 monosaccharides for each molecule. And these oligosaccharides are further classified into disaccharides. They are further uh, classified into disaccharides. Okay. It can be further classified into disaccharides, trisaccharides and tetrasaccharides etc. Depending upon 2, it is called disaccharide. If they are giving 2 monosaccharides on hydrolysis, it is called disaccharides. And if they are giving 3 monosaccharides upon hydrolysis, such molecules are called as trisaccharides. And any molecule which on hydrolysis gives 4 monosaccharides, or 4 types of monosaccharides, they are called the tetrasaccharides. Okay. So, out of all these things, these disaccharides are most important. Okay, we shall study the disaccharides. So, disaccharides, I told you, disaccharides are uh, a kind of uh, oligosaccharides, uh, which upon hydrolysis, they give two monosaccharides. It can be uh, similar monosaccharides or it can be different also. Okay. So, here, uh, one example of disaccharide is sucrose. An example of disaccharide is sucrose, okay, which have a uh, molecular formula C12, C12, H22, O11. So, this sucrose is a disaccharide, which upon hydrolysis give molecule of two monosaccharides, namely glucose and fructose. So, in the last uh, part, we have learned what is monosaccharide. What are the examples of monosaccharides? We have learned that monosaccharides some examples are ribose, glucose and fructose, etc. Okay. So, sucrose is a disaccharide, a kind of oligosaccharide, which upon hydrolysis give two monosaccharides, namely glucose and fructose. Another uh, disaccharide is maltose. Again, you can see the uh, molecular formula of maltose is C12H22O11. Again, which on hydrolysis gives two molecules of sugar. Okay, I told you. So here maltose on hydrolysis give two sugars, two glucose, and sucrose on hydrolysis gives glucose as well as a fructose. Okay. So two examples uh, for disaccharides are sucrose and maltose. Coming to the uh, polysaccharide, okay, uh, that is uh, non-sugar. Okay. So polysaccharides uh, are carbohydrates which upon hydrolysis give a large number of uh, monosaccharides, a kind of uh, polymers. Okay. They are polymer compounds in which hundreds or uh, thousands of monosaccharides uh, are joined through uh, oxygen bridges called glycosidic linkages. Okay. So normally, uh, you know, uh, so this is called the glycosidic linkages. Some example of uh, polysaccharides, I told you they are non-sugars. Some example is starch and, starch and uh, cellulose. So, they have the molecular formula C6H10O5 uh, n times. Okay. And which upon hydrolysis they give a uh, large number of uh, glucose molecule on hydrolysis. Okay. The starch and cellulose are uh, uh, comprised of large amount of glucose molecules. Or I can say that when starch and or cellulose are hydrolyzed, they give uh, number of glucose uh, monosaccharides or glucose molecules. Or I can say that uh, starch and cellulose are made up of n number of glucose molecules. Uh, they are bridged by means of glycosidic linkages. A starch is a polymer made up of uh, uh, alpha glucose. Okay, it is uh, alpha glucose units, whereas cellulose is made up of beta glucose units. So coming to the uh, glucose, we shall study glucose in detail. Glucose uh, coming to the uh, preparation of glucose. Uh, first one uh, that is the laboratory preparation. First one let us uh, study uh, from the cane sugar. First one from cane sugar. Okay. Cane sugar that is uh, sucrose. Okay. This sucrose is uh, boiled with uh, sucrose is boiled with uh, dilute hydrochloric acid. Okay. It is uh, boiled with uh, dil dilute. Uh, hydrochloric acid. Okay. So, su sucrose undergoes hydrolysis to give uh, glucose and fructose in solutions. Okay. It will, it will be the equimolar proportions. Okay. 1 is to 1. So, the uh, when the resulting uh, solution is cooled, okay, 
uh, being uh, glucose being less soluble in uh, alcohol than fructose so this glucose uh, usually crystallizes out and these uh, crystals can be uh, collected by filtration or by centrifugation so in that way you can uh, separate the glucose so next uh, preparation from starch so it's a, a commercial preparation okay so a uh, starch uh, you can see that uh, an aqueous uh, dispersion of starch is boiled with uh, sulfuric acid okay. under pressure okay it is boiled with sulfuric acid starch uh, is boiled with sulfuric acid so starch undergoes hydrolysis to give glucose uh, solution okay so normally uh, to this uh, solution uh, because there is excess of acid so this excess of acid uh, in the solution is uh, neutralized by uh, calcium carbonate okay and they uh, precipitated uh, precipitated as as calcium sulfate that is uh, removed by filtration and uh, the filtrate uh, is decolorized by uh, boiling with uh, some animal charcoal okay and finally the resulting solution is uh, evaporated uh, in vacuum pans uh, to get the uh, glucose crystals okay. and they are further uh, collected so next uh, let's uh, study some of the uh, physical uh, properties of uh, glucose as well as chemical properties okay. you know uh, glucose is a colorless crystal uh, that is a solid with melting point 146 uh, degrees celsius and they are soluble in water uh, but much uh, less soluble in alcohol also it is very uh, sweet uh, in taste uh, glucose uh, occurring naturally uh, in grapes uh, and some of the sweet uh, fruits especially in honey also it can be uh, found and it is a dextra rotatory and hence it is called dextrose okay, i told you there are two uh, optical isomers which can uh, rotate the plane polarized light into uh, left as well as right since it is rotating uh, clockwise they are called uh, dextra rotatory so glucose is uh, dextra rotatory okay so it is otherwise called as dextrose so coming to the so it is very uh, important thing you have to remember that uh, glucose is uh, dextrose it is a dextrose remember okay so uh, i am giving uh, lots of uh, synonyms for the glucose one it is dextrose it is hexose it is aldose etc okay all these uh, properties of based upon these properties and chemical structures we can uh, name it as dextrose it is an aldose it is a uh, hexose also okay so coming to the uh, chemical properties so uh, we know that uh, glucose or some of the carbohydrates can be uh, represented in both uh, cyclic as well as open chain formula the open chain formula of uh, glucose is this ch2 okay the open chain formula of glucose is uh, ch2 oh ch2 this is ch2 ch2 oh ch oh four times choh four times ch okay. so this uh, this shows up uh, so you can see there's the presence of uh, cho aldehyde group okay. and they uh, and there are four secondary alcohol oh you can see there are four secondary oh groups okay you can see four secondary alcoholic groups and one uh, primary uh, alcoholic group one primary alcoholic group so therefore uh, they show the chemical properties of these uh, aldehyde or uh, alcoholic groups let us see that one so first let us see some of the aldehyde uh, reactions okay first one is uh, oxidation okay uh, so if you use any mild oxidizing agent like bromine water it can oxidize glucose to gluconic acid so you can you can see that the cho is converted into COH CHO it is oxidized to COH that is gluconic acid similarly a strong oxidizing agent like uh, concentrated nitric acid uh, can oxidize glucose to uh, glucaric acid okay. again you can see that the CHO 
CH2 is uh, is oxidized. Okay. Aldehyde group is oxidized to carboxylic acid, and this uh, primary alcohol, this primary alcohol is also uh, oxidized to uh, COH. So this is called glucuric acid. Okay, don't confuse between gluconic acid as well as glucuric acid. Okay. So we have discussed that uh, glucose can be easily oxidized. So the easy oxidizability of glucose make it as a good reducing agent. So you can say that glucose is a good reducing agent. So it can reduce tolerance as well as Fillings uh, reagent. So here, glucose can reduce tolerance reagent. Tolerance reagent is uh, ammonical silver nitrate solution. So it is a silver nitrate solution. So silver will be in the plus one oxidation state, Ag NO3 silver nitrate. So the uh, silver in the plus one oxidation state is re reduced to silver in the zero metallic state. So silver is reduced to zero oxidation state. So in that way. Uh, the silver is reduced to metallic silver okay so in that way glucose is a good reducing agent or it can be known as reducing sugars okay so another uh, example is uh, glucose can reduce a failing solution okay failing solution is a mixture of uh, copper sulfate uh, and alkaline uh, potassium tartrate solution okay so uh, copper uh, in uh, plus 2 state Okay, copper in plus two state can be reduced okay, to the plus one state. Okay, it can be reduced to plus one state. So uh, they yield uh, a red uh, precipitate of cuprous oxide. Okay, so plus two uh, to copper can be reduced to uh, plus one state. Uh, cuprous oxide can be obtained. Cupric to cuprous oxide. So, uh, this uh, copper can be uh, reduced from plus 2 to plus 1 state. Okay, so that is uh, reduction of failing solution. So, these two uh, reactions can be used to show they are the reducing sugars. So, next uh, we can study uh, glucose can be reduced also. Similarly, glucose can be oxidized, it can be reduced also. Okay. So, uh, glucose is reduced by sodium amalgam to uh, sorbitol. Glucose can be reduced to sorbitol. Similarly, on uh, prolonged heating of uh, glucose uh, with concentrated uh, hydrogen iodide in red phosphorus, okay, uh, hydrogen iodide in red phosphorus, okay, glucose is reduced to uh, normal hexane. Okay. CH3, CH2, 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 CH3 type and hexane. So, these are the two uh, important uh, reduction reactions of uh, glucose. So, remember in the same way glucose can be oxidized, it can be reduced also by using uh, sodium amalgam or by using uh, hydrogen iodide in red phosphorus. So, next let us uh, see that. Uh, Glucose, I told you, it is an aldose. It can have C uh, double bond O, CHO. Okay, it is having a CHO. Okay, so this can be added. This uh, hydrogen cyanide can be added uh, in the glucose to form glucose cyanohydrate. Okay, so this C double bond O uh, can form. Okay, so it is CH. Okay, uh, CHO can be uh, converted into CHOHCl. So, glucose can be reacted with hydrogen cyanide to get glucose cyanohydrate. Similarly, next is uh, reaction with uh, hydroxylamine. Okay. Glucose can react with hydroxylamine, uh, NH2OH. Glucose can react with hydroxylamine uh, to form uh, with hydroxylamine to form glucose oxide. You can see it forms. CHNOH oxime, it forms an oxime. Okay. Simply, you can remove a water molecule okay. H2O. So, this normally H2O molecule can be simple condensation reaction to form CH double bond NOH. It can form a simple oxime molecule. It is called glucose oxide. 
another uh, reaction is uh, reaction with the hydrazines okay, react with the hydrazines you can see that uh, glucose can react with the phenyl hydrazine okay uh, ph nh nh2 okay c6h5 nh nh2 so simply you can remove a water molecule over here okay so water molecule will be eliminated to get the corresponding hydrazone so you will be getting the corresponding hydrazone also so there is a change only with respect to the uh, aldehyde functional group so you can get the uh, glucose uh, phenyl hydrazone further further uh, what happens on uh, adding this one uh, it forms a uh, it forms a ketonic group okay it will be uh, this ch choice will be uh, oxidized to uh, ketonic group and to this ketonic group also you can add uh, nh2 from nh2 nh c6h5 so it also remove the h2 molecule h2 molecule to form uh, glucose ozone glucose ozone okay it can form the glucose ozone glucose ozone fine common is ozone it can form the ozone test so it is a simple uh, ozone test to identify the uh, carbohydrate or glucose okay ozone test now after uh, we have studied uh, certain aldehyde reaction group now let us see some of the uh, reactions of hydroxyl groups okay so glucose uh, forms a pentacetyl derivative by uh, by reaction with the acetic uh, anhydride so glucose form glucose pentacetyl next type is methylation okay uh, reaction with uh, methanol glucose reacts with methanol in the presence of hcl to form methyl glucoside similarly uh, with dimethyl sulfate uh, in presence of uh, any uh, alkali Uh, glucose form uh, pentamethyl glucose so these are the some of the reactions of uh, hydroxyl group so now uh, let us uh, study some of the reactions of fructose i told you fructose is a uh, ketose okay whereas glucose is a aldose both are both are uh, hexose both are having six carbon atom so first one uh, hexose i mean uh, fructose Uh, fructose uh, from uh, cane sugar preparation from cane sugar so you can see here it is a laboratory preparation so uh, by treating with uh, dilute uh, sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid okay it is similar to the uh, laboratory preparation of glucose by react with the hcl or sulfuric acid uh, you can hydrolyze hydrolyze uh, sucrose into its uh, monosaccharides glucose as well as fructose okay so after this one because we are adding sufficient amount of uh, acids uh, after this uh, reaction is complete uh, sufficient uh, amount of lime is added and this lime uh, neutralizes uh, the excess of acid uh, in the solution and converts the glucose converts the glucose into uh, calcium glucosate so this glucose is uh, converted into calcium glucosate calcium glucosate okay and fructose to calcium fructosate so calcium fructosate fructosate okay we are adding a uh, lime so uh, this uh, calcium glucosate okay this uh, calcium glucosate remains in the solution okay it is soluble in the solution whereas the calcium uh, fructosate the calcium fructosate uh, they are less soluble they uh, precipitate out so this uh, precipitate is collected uh, suspended in water and uh, decomposed by uh, passing uh, carbon dioxide to get the fructose so it will be like this one the reaction will be like this one so uh, calcium fructosate is uh, c6 h11 o5 o c a o h okay then further uh, by passing carbon dioxide by passing carbon dioxide you can get the pure crystals of uh, fructose c6 h12 
power 6 plus calcium carbonate. Can I get the calcium carbonate back? So, so this is the laboratory preparation. Next one uh, that is the industrial preparation that is from uh, inulin. Okay. Uh, it is a, a polysaccharide. Okay, you can remember one more name that is inulin. It is a polysaccharide. So this inulin is boiled with a dilute sulfuric acid. You can boil with the dilute sulfuric acid. Dilute sulfuric acid. Uh, so this uh, inulin undergoes hydrolysis to give fructose. N number of fructoses. So coming to its physical and chemical properties. Fructose is a colorless crystalline solid with a melting point 102 degrees Celsius. It is soluble in water. Uh, natural fructose that is their levo rotatory whereas glucose is dextro rotatory remember glucose is dextro rotatory where this is levo rotatory or either you can remember l okay levo rotatory whereas uh, glucose is dextro rotatory and hence it is called uh, levulose you can remember whereas glucose is known as dextrose this fructose it is known as levulose and one more thing is that it is the sweetest of all sugars okay uh, this fructose is the sweetest of all sugars fructose is very sweet coming to the chemical properties uh, i told you uh, close as well as the open chain formula of fructose is this one okay uh, you can see a certain uh, ketonic group okay. you can see uh, a ketonic group as well as some of the uh, primary and secondary uh, alcoholic group also. So it uh, shows the properties similar to the ketones as well as alcoholic groups. Let's see some of the properties. Okay. First one, uh, oxidation. Okay. Uh, first one is uh, here, fructose cannot be oxidized by bromine water. So the one is, that is one of the distinction uh, from uh, glucose. Second thing, second reaction, uh, when you use a stronger oxidizing agent like uh, nitric acid, okay, fructose uh, is oxidized to a mixture of uh, tri-hydroxyglutaric acid, tri-hydroxyglutaric acid, <coughs> you can see uh, tri-hydroxyglutaric acid, this one tri-hydroxyglutaric acid then tartaric acid as well as glycolic sorry glycolic acid so you will be getting three uh, mixtures three compounds uh, trihydroxyglutaric acid tartaric acid and glycolic glycolic acid so you'll be getting glycolic acid tartaric acid and glutaric acid okay so again uh, coming to the uh, reducing action okay I told you uh, similar to the uh, glucose they are good reducing agent they can reduce a tolerance region reagent to metallic silver which is the reaction similar to the earlier one so silver in the plus one state is reduced to the silver in the zeroth metallic state so it will be getting a silver mirror test so it, this silver mirror, mirror test is used to uh, identify whether it is reducing or non-reducing so it's a reducing sugar similarly uh, it reduces uh, copper from a plus two state, okay, from plus two to a plus one state, okay, to cupric to cuprous oxide. You will be getting a red precipitate of cuprous oxide, okay. So, uh, fructose uh, reduces a filling solution. Filling solution is a mixture of copper sulfate and uh, sodium potassium tartrate, okay, the solution of copper sulfate and sodium potassium tartrate. So, the copper uh, in this solution will be in the uh, cupric oxide, copper in the plus 2 oxidation state. That copper is uh, reduced to plus 1 uh, cuprous oxide. Okay. So, both glucose as well as fructose are reducing sugars. Next, uh, similar to the uh, glucose, we can see that some of the uh, reductions of uh, fructose. Okay. So, fructose uh, can be reduced by sodium amalgam uh, to a mixture of uh, stereoisomers called uh, sorbitol and mannitol. Okay. So, that is the uh, reduction. Similarly, uh, fructose on prolonged heating with uh, hydrogen iodide in red phosphorus 
we can get normal hexanes. It is a reaction similar to the glucose. Again, you can see uh, addition of hydrogen cyanide. Okay, you can see there is a uh, carbonyl group. Okay, there is a carbonyl group. So this uh, hydrogen cyanide, uh, you can see uh, H and cyanide. Cyanide will be added to get the uh, fructose cyanohydrate. Next uh, reaction with the hydroxyl amine, uh, similar to the glucose. Uh, you can remember you can uh, this fructose can form fructose can form a oxide. Okay, C double bond NOH. It forms a fructose oxide. All these reactions are the uh, repetition of the glucose. Again, with the uh, phenylhydrazine, okay, you can uh, you can see there is a uh, carbonyl group, and uh, this it will be easily uh, remove water molecule. Okay, sorry, it will be easily remove uh, water molecule to form a hydrazone. Okay, it can, it can form a uh, a kind of imine bond. It forms a fructose phenyl hydrazone. And further adding this phenyl hydrazine, uh, okay, further adding this phenyl hydrazine, uh, you can see here uh, this primary alcohol will be uh, converted into a aldehyde group. And here further this hydrazine, you can have a, a simple condensation reaction. So H2 will be eliminated to get the uh, ozozone that is fructose ozone we will be getting a ozozone okay so let us study some of the reactions of hydroxyl group okay the, so here fructose uh, react with the acetic anhydride to get uh, fructose uh, pentacetate okay that is one reaction second one uh, methylation uh, this fructose react with methanol in presence of hydrogen it's hydrochloride, it's HCl gas to form uh, methyl fructoside. You can form methyl fructoside. And another uh, methylation uh, with dimethyl sulfate, okay, with uh, dimethyl sulfate, with dimethyl sulfate, in presence of any uh, base like NaOH, fructose forms uh, pentamethyl fructose. It forms pentamethyl fructose. So in uh, D and L configuration, okay. Uh, you can have okay. first let us let me explain what is small d and l okay that is dextran levo rotatory if a plane polarized light rotates the uh, plane polarized light into the uh, clockwise it is called the dextro rotatory and if it rotates the other way it is called the levo rotatory so here uh, the capital d and l configuration it is uh, with reference to the uh, molecule glyceraldehyde so glyceraldehyde, you can see that this uh, penultimate uh, OH group of the uh, primary OH, if it is on the uh, right hand side, it is called the uh, D glyceraldehyde. And if the OH is on the left, the, if the spatial arrangement is on the other side, it is called the uh, L glyceraldehyde. So based upon this one, uh, you can have uh, D series as well as L series. If the OH is on the uh, right hand side, it is called the D series, and if it is on the uh, okay, it is the D series. This is D series, and if it is on the left hand side, it is L series. So similarly, the normal uh, glucose it can be uh, plus or as well as minus. Plus is uh, dextrose, that is glucose, and this uh, fructose is a Levulose, okay, levo rotatory. Okay, so it is uh, levulose and this is dextrose. Okay, plus glucose indicates it is dextrose. And this minus uh, fructose indicates it is uh, levo rotatory. And here you can see that uh, this dextrose is, is having D uh, configuration. You can see here uh, this OH is on the this side. So this dextrose is D dextrose. Whereas when you take the uh, levulose, that is the uh, levo rotatory fructose, again you can see that it is again on the same side, so it is in D fructose. So I have taken two uh, isomers, uh, dextrose as well as levulose, dextro, dextro rotatory as well as levo rotatory. So both this glucose or the dextrose is having D configuration or the fructose 
or the levelos is also having the D configuration. Okay. Thank you. So we shall discuss the next part, next uh, section in the next part of the class.